we have a giant Saturday a basketball game that we want to break down here on Pub Sports Radio. Saturday, May 4th, West Semifinals, Game 1. Minnesota Timberwolves, 56-26, and 26-15 and 15 on the road. Denver Nuggets, 57-25, and 33-8 and at home. And we're at Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. There has been enormous amounts of love for the Timberwolves wherever you look in this series. And the futures market will sh- share that feeling. It's very, very interesting. Troy joined us yesterday. Troy Torrance, he moved on the Wolves first half and the Wolves full game. Minnesota dominated their first round series against the Suns, shot 47.7 from the field, 36.6 from three. That was run at 95.25 possessions a game. Uh, Denver beat up a Lakers team that would have taken out the Suns, in my estimation, comfortably. Uh, 46.3 46.3 from the field and just 30.8% from three. Uh, Jamal Murray is not shooting the ball well. Is he hurt? We're going to touch uh, on that. And we have a lot. We have history. Uh, uh, Denver eliminated Minnesota last year uh, very easily. What was the difference? Well, one, you know, Gobert and Cat have another year to get comfortable with each other. Anthony Edwards has had another year to show he's an absolute superstar. And Jaden McDaniels did not play in that series. And we know what he can do defensively. Let's get into the line history here for this one. Saturday, May 4th. We are sitting here with Denver minus four and a half at minus 113. They opened up at minus five. It lasted there for about four and just under five hours. And it moved to four and a half. It is juiced to the Denver Nuggets at four and a half. Now it wasn't. This was a flat pick them. In fact, the four and a half was juiced to Minnesota you know, around midnight and it's changed this morning to juiced towards these Denver nuggets. This total is sitting here in game one at two Oh eight at pinnacle. Uh, we saw a lot of unders in the first half of the playoff series in the first round and overs in the second half. Uh, this opened up at two Oh nine and dropped to two Oh eight. And, and it moved from two Oh nine to two eight and a half in about the same amount of time as it, as it moved from from five to four and a half in this one, about four and a half hours, a little under five hours. From a cash flow standpoint, we have a lot more. Uh, no, I guess not that many more. Uh, now we're at four thousand tickets, so we're starting to get a sense of what's going on here. And the sixteen percent of the tickets are on the Denver Nuggets, just sixteen percent, but fifty eight percent of the cash is on them. On the total here, we have fifty three percent of the tickets on the over and ninety six percent of the cash on the over. Let's set this up for Bobano. Denver and Minnesota split their four regular season meetings. We know Denver has the best, second best home record in the NBA, 33-8. and eight. In the first round, they won all their three games at home. And when these teams matched up in last year's first round, the Nuggets shot 38.9% from three. If the Nuggets shoot over 35% or 36% from three, they're going to win this series. The thought process is, Denver couldn't shoot well from three against the Lakers. They're not going to be able to shoot well against a team that can defend the perimeter like the Minnesota Timberwolves. So uh, the Nuggets winning their first round series. They're the fourth reigning NBA champion to reach the conference semifinal in the past five years. The problem is not one of those teams have passed the semifinal round. None of them. The 2022-23 Warriors lost to the Lakers in six. The 2021-22 Bucks lost to the Celtics in seven. The 2019-20 Raptors lost to the Celtics in seven. And the 2021 Lakers didn't even make it out of the first round. Is Jamal Murray healthy? He's not shooting the ball well. He's dealing with some sort of a calf issue. Contavious Caldwell-Pope is dealing with an ankle issue. The four days rest between their closeout uh, and the game here, uh, crucial, absolutely crucial. Uh, it couldn't have helped this team. This is a team that desperately needed it. Jamal Murray was not just bad from three. He was bad from two. Now he's clutch. We know he's a, an assassin when it comes down to the games on the he was line. bad except for game-winning, sh- uh, series-winning shots to rip the heart out of the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. We know he's an assassin. We know he, he handles pressure better than anyone, but he shot 40% from two against Minnesota this year. Yeah. Because... And so he was held to fewer than 20 points in both head-to-head meetings on the road. Uh, Jaden McDaniels can defend. If 
who is Jaden McDaniels going to defend here? Is he going to be on Jamal Murray? Is he going to be on Michael Porter Jr.? Is he, are they going to wait to see who's hot and then decide whether they're going to defend him? This is a front court that could give Jokic problems because it's not just Cat. It's not just Rudy. It's six man of the year, Nas Reed. Yep. The, Lots of about, size to throw at that guy. Lots of size. Get him off the spot. 100%. Yep. And, you know, is Aaron Gordon going to have Nas? There, there's so many options here for Chris Finch, who just ruptured his patellar tendon. Is that going to mess with him here? Uh, they, they say that the surgery went well. He's coming later than the team to this one. We've talked all about this series, and we haven't got to the superstars yet. And you can't yet. You have, we talked about Nas Reed, six my year. Look at what Nikhil Alexander Walker's done in this series 12.3 points per game in the first round. Nikhil Alexander Walker was a plus 59 in that first round series. I mean, that is unbelievably good. Just another great Canadian basketball player. What can I say? <laughs> So we haven't talked about Jokic and Ant. We know Jokic is the best player in the league, and Ant is the league's next superstar. Ant averaged 31.6 against the Nuggets in last year's first-round matchup. He, We know he's going to deliver. Here we go. Game one of the West semifinals, Timberwolves, Nuggets. Bobano, take it away. So what do we know here? We know Minnesota got off to a red-hot start in the first round, swept away Phoenix, although Denver's obviously going to be much tougher, much better. What do we know about the Denver Nuggets based on what we saw against the LA Lakers series? They're perfectly content easing their way and dipping their toe in the water when it comes to games and, and, and in particular a series. We saw it against the Lakers. Game one, slow first start, sluggish first half. Game two, slow start, sluggish first half. Game three, slow start, sluggish first half. Game four, slow start, sluggish first half. Uh, game five, uh, of course, uh, slow starts uh, as well. Sluggish first half, then they turned it on. It's been Denver, you know, 0-5, uh, by the way, against the spread in the first half, you know, against the L.A. Lakers. You know, they don't mind coming out slow, getting a feel for the opponent, and then turning it on in the third quarter and especially in the fourth quarter. And meanwhile, you got a Minnesota team that knows they can, I think, play with this team. Chomping at the bit for redemption after what happened last year in the playoffs. That, as you mentioned, Nas Reed, Jaden McDaniels, they have a much better defensive lineup to, to deal with the likes of Murray and Jokic and Michael Porter Jr. Uh, on this Denver Nuggets team. So, for Minnesota, you know, you saw them come out ready. You know, Chris Finch had them ready in game one. They got the job done. They now that was at home, obviously against Phoenix, but and this is on the road. But I like what I saw from the Timberwolves on the road. Uh, in the Phoenix series, you know, they could have, they could have been up to nothing and let Phoenix right back into the series and hold serve it on their home court. And that did not happen. So to me, the obvious move, it's the clear move. In my opinion, it's the move I've made in this game is Minnesota. First half, Minnesota, first half plus three, uh, minus one fifteen at pinnacle is what I'll lock in. Um, and I think it's a great bet. I think Timberwolves come out strong. Denver has had these slow starts time and time and time and time again. In the Lakers series, a Laker team that's nowhere close to as good as the Minnesota Timberwolves team that they are going to face uh, here in the second round. So I think they've got a damn good chance to win the game too, but I think the first half is the stronger look. I don't want to screw around full game as much because what if Denver turns on the afterburners, especially at home, which they've done time and time again, uh, and they come back and they find a way to win. Uh, I would definitely lean Minnesota full game, but I definitely think that the first half with the Minnesota Timberwolves is the best look here in this game. To have that fast start, Denver 0-5 ATS in the playoffs in the first half to this point. So Minnesota plus three, minus 115 first half. I'm very interested in the under in this one. I'm, I'm going to watch the market right now. Uh, overs have been hitting and obviously I'm going to have all the player props on the under, which is basically an under bet, but I'm very, very interested in the under. I, I do think that when teams are sort of feeling themselves out and figuring out, it, it just feels like defense comes to the forefront early in the series before the offense figures out how to exploit the defensive plan of the opposition. 
Um, and maybe that's simplifying things too much, but it certainly worked in the first round. And this, you could say that this is the perfect scenario because we've had overs hit last night and four of the last five have been overs. And if you were planning on betting an under, you would probably want overs tonight as well. So I wonder when I should move on this. We got nut flush Allen. Well, it makes in the sense. House. Minnesota's a better defensive team than the Lakers. There's no doubt. And Denver's going to figure that out. Denver's a very solid defensive team themselves when they're locked in too. Oh, yeah. And I know Minnesota offensively and Anthony Edwards can take over, but Phoenix was brutal defensively. Brutal. To the, so there's no question by default Denver's going to be a better defensive challenge for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Neither team pushes pace. Neither team plays any sort of fast tempo. There's not going to be any pace in the, in these games between these two teams. So I would not talk anyone, you know, out of an under in this game or, or unders in this series. It's probably going to be a defensive battle, more of a defensive battle than maybe some would think. MPJ points, rebounds, and assists at Pinnacle. Nut flush is 26 and a half, heavily juiced to the under at minus 145, heavily juiced to the under. And MPJ's points, rebounds, and assists over at Bet365 are... Uh, sorry, let's go to back up here. Points, rebounds, and assists is 26 I think Minnesota and a half. very live, Jimmy, in this series. My only concern, though, is that how much of what Minnesota was awesome, totally awesome, absolutely in the four games. How much of that was Phoenix, though? They were so bad. Oh, they, they were, were so cool. bad defensively, and but they didn't even try at times, I felt, defensively. It was just, let's try to outscore these guys. That's how we're going to try to win. And obviously it didn't work. All right, Steve G and the boys just hit a pick three. I love to hear it. Uh, so it's 26 and a half. The importance of line shopping with player props is so crucial. Uh, the 26 and a half is plus 110 to the over at Pinnacle and minus 145 to the under, while it's minus 115 each way at 365. Uh, Billy Friedman says Michael Porter Jr. certainly won't be leaving any game unless he has a bone sticking out of his flesh. Thanks to brother John Tay. Oh, it's a horrible, horrible story. That is our breakdown for the Timberwolves, Denver Nuggets. I'm very interested in the under. I'm going to need more time to sit with it. Bobano is on the Timberwolves first half, plus three at minus 115. Yesterday, Troy moved on the Timberwolves first half and full game. There is a ton of love for the Minnesota Timberwolves in this series, and it's going to be a lot of fun.